Welcome to the Corporal's Corner. Today we're doing a solo overnight under a dead tree. So stick around, we have an outstanding show coming up. All right, here I go again on my own. Another week bites the dust, which gives you another solo overnighter in the woods. This time I wanna make it different. I have no pre-planned idea of where I'm gonna camp. I'm out here in the woods and I'm hoping to find something that's ready-made. Rock shelter, down tree branch, down log, something. I can just throw a tarp over and be done. Then I wanna roam the countryside, look for resources, maybe some wild edibles, and most importantly, have fun doing it. So I'm bringing you along. Let's get to it. That right there. Oh yeah. Yep, she's springy, so no cracking, it's not rotten, pieces aren't falling off of it, there's no dead branches laying around it, I'm happy. So here's what I'm thinking, tarp in a lean-to configuration, one full step away, backstop windscreen, clean that area out for a long fire, be home for the night. Everything we do is transferable. A simple bowline, used like a ratchet, held in place by a marlin spike hitch and a toggle. Makes a quick release. Pop it out, boom, tarp drops.
I'm liking it. More than enough room right here. All good. All we gotta do is clean this area out and I think we'll be good to go. As my boy Negan would say, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now check this out. In a perfect world, I would love for this tarp to be wider. That way it go over top of that log. And just in case if it rains, it will facilitate the rain runoff on both sides. I don't have that option, so I have to work with what I have. I am carrying my Helicon poncho. So worst case, if it did rain, simple fix, drape the poncho over top of this, anchor it down that side, stake it down over here, and we're shingled like a roof. Two of my favorite things right here. Yes, I hump these out here. It's like trying to decide between two kids. Which one do I keep? Which one do I kill? Um, or I'm like a kid on Christmas. I'm just like so excited. Which toy do I play with first? Do I keep the one that looks like Groot? Or do I keep the one that's more modern, has a small nub in the center for digging action? Hmm. So many choices.
All right, check that out. As far as the eye can see in this area, those are mostly tulip poplars. Now, tulip poplar is perfect for bow drills and bird's nest. So I'm gonna walk through here and see what I can find. Look at that. Look at that. And ultimately, that's exactly what you want to see. Nice, clean burn, very little or no smoke. The flames are above the current fuel source, so I can add more. Said it before and I'll say it again. This will solve our hunger problem. Boom, corporal style. Antiviral AF.
that's going to be outstanding. Bacon bean chipotle, baby. Let it simmer 15, 20 minutes, stir occasionally, good to go. Now, last item not shown is ordinary household cocainum. Actually, no, it's uh, flour. We're going to make ash cakes. Make a small hole, add a little bit of water, and stir. You know, all you're going for is you want to flatten this thing out to about an eighth inch. Try and make as many as you can. Once you get these, we're going to go ahead and toss them on the coals and cook them up. How long do I cook these for? Well, you don't want to burn them. You're going for something that looks like a tortilla. Trying to burn it like that, probably not. But I like it crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. And if you don't have a spoon or a fork, you can just dig right in. And it's good to go. Outstanding night too. Got the full moon coming up over here. The world's ending. We're in the field eating like kings. Think of the words of my buddy, Master Sergeant A. Pone. Every meal's a banquet. Every paycheck a fortune. Every formation's a parade. Love being out in the field. Rip, brother. Mmm. I'm gonna sit here, be fat and nasty. Catch you all in a few. Mmm. That's what I call a campfire. Man. Bacon corporal. Literally. Man, it is hot. Could be a low of like 50. I think that's way too much fire. Man, tell you what. This reflective Arcturus tarp is doing its job. So, first order of business. Let's talk about something different, okay? I mentioned a while ago the possibility of doing online courses. And I want to know from you guys, is that something that you want to entertain? Um, if I can get a few hundred that want to commit, I'll spend the time, the two, three weeks, or a month, I'll find an online platform, and I'll get her done for you guys. And it'd be something positive, something you guys can do as a group or as a family during this crisis, which will get you outside. It will reinforce the YouTube videos, um, the training, and it'd be fun too. Um, but again, I need a couple hundred that will actually commit to this. And disclaimer, it won't be free. YouTube videos are free, all right? It's a touchy subject. Some people are like, well, everything should be free. Well, we're not a socialist country, and um, unfortunately, online platforms aren't free. So for me to provide it for free, and it costs me 100 bucks a month, obviously I'm going in the hole. So I'll see what I can do to keep the cost as low as possible. Um, it'd be way cheaper than attending the class. But I think it'd be something fun for you guys to do during this crisis that's positive. Um, so again, Leave me a comment in the comment section. Um, and no, I'm not talking about being like my, my uh, boy Joker and be like, well, if you're good at something, never do it for free. Um, I'm all for helping people in need. But again, getting reimbursed for my time and for the website 
finances and you know monies that are going towards that would be a good thing. Um, I think it'd be a positive thing for you guys too. So think about that. Drop me a comment and let me know. All right, next thing I want to talk about real quick is ask you guys for help, okay? Um, we had the ultimate coffee experiment. We're still doing that. Um, but I'm tired of sleeping on these flipping bags, dude. And I do that because this is a minimum kit. It's a solo overnight under a dead tree using a minimum kit. And these bags have probably 100 different uses. And one of them is a browse bed. So, um... I go with that. Air mattresses are good, but if a spark gets on that, it's gone. It's destroyed. So, those of you that have experience with good pads or blow-up mattresses that are flame retardant or resistant or that would be a good fit for me, drop me a comment. Don't drop me a link. I don't want my YouTube comments full of links. Again, do not drop me a link. Drop me a comment of the item. If you want to send me a link, go to my Corporal's Corner Facebook or Instagram. Last thing I want to say real quick is hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'm doing outstanding. I'm out here in the woods again. Nice night. We've got a full moon. Long fire. Reflective tarp. And we're sleeping underneath a dead tree. Outstanding. Um, if all you can do is get out in your backyard with a fire pit and a tent, do it. Use this time and let's change the future, okay? You know, I, I have a son, so I think back one of his favorite movies was Wally. -E. And you got these big, nasty people hovering around, bumping into each other, not even acknowledging each other, on a screen, talking to their buddy who's sitting right next to them. You know, and I'm willing to bet you there's quite a few parents that are guilty of texting their kid in their bedroom or in the garage because it's easier and it's just too hard to walk in there and get them. You know, I was one of the last generations before cell phones and internet, and we went outside. We had fun. Our immune systems were up. We were gone all day. It's not a good thing. Our parents didn't didn't even know where we were. You know, but we had fun and we lived through it. Use this time and let's change the future. Let's not go back to the way that it was. Once this scare is over, let's change the future. And show our loved ones, our friends, family that we do care and that we do give a damn. And I think we'll be happier and healthier people for it. That's all I got. I'm going to stoke this fire up a little bit, cut some more wood, and settle in for the night. Catch you all in the morning for the ultimate coffee experiment. I appreciate everybody that's sticking around, everybody's watching. It means a lot to me. My channel would not exist if it weren't for you. Thank you.
Well now, look at that. If it ain't raining, we ain't training. Time on deck, 0615. A little bit wet now. Good thing I thought ahead and I shingled this uh, tarp because I'm actually dry under this log right here. I think I'll get up and maybe we'll do the ultimate coffee experiment in the dark um, before I lose all my coals. So let's do it. Smells pretty good. Let's give her a taste. It's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Corporal's cappuccino. Crappuccino. Crappuccino. Nope. It's good. I like it. I can get down on this. So our usual morning routine got compromised, but it's a good thing because it keeps us on our toes and uh, changes things up a little bit. Ground's a muddy mess now. Um, really glad I thought ahead and shingled this because even that slight overhang up there actually kept the rain off of me. I'm dry, so it's about 6.45 right now, so I'm happy. Let's go ahead and finish talking about this shelter. Nothing special. A down log. A dead tree. Reflective tarp. Shingled with our Helicon poncho. Long fire with a windscreen. Outstanding. Used a few of our knots. Kind of uh, improvised. A bowling around our dead tree. Through the grommet of our tarp. Secured off with a Marlin spike hitch and a toggle. Something different, but utilizing the same knots. And believe it or not, it was a good night's sleep last night. <clears throat> like I mentioned before, any of you guys know of any type of blow up mattress that's fire retardant or resistant to sparks or some type of outstanding backpacking pad hit me up in the comment section no links just the uh, item and where to find it because getting away from these bags will be a plus in my old age it's not the years it's the mileage Welcome back. Last night was outstanding, and it was fun too. It's always good to get out here and see what you can do with a minimum kit. And that's what it's all about. When you're operating with a minimum kit, if you can find something that's ready-made, like a rock house or a rock shelter, a cave, a downed tree branch, or in this case, an entire tree, requires minimum work, toss your tarp over it, and you're good to go. As always, all the gear in my video can be found on my Amazon Influencer page or my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. Both those links will be inside my description box. Now please do me that favor, hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun, I'm going to catch you next time.